I'm the host and founder of the Psychic News Network. I just cut on Joy Reid for a couple of minutes. How are you? What's going on? Uh, it's hump day. It's Wednesday. It's April 3rd. I can feel everybody's anticipation of this solar eclipse. It's getting a lot of hype on Monday. And Cheryl's getting ready for wet, heavy snow. It's cold out there. It is. We're having a winter revisit here in New England. So, um, <clears throat> what's up? We have some things to go over. And uh, I've been very struck by the hypocrisy definitely struck by the hypocrisy of the uh, Putin Republicans and I sense that the Democrats are going to take over the House maybe May let's start with thank you Barbara thank you for the compliment my your favorite psychic I'm so flattered uh, I I'm asking right off the bat, will the Democrats take back the take back the House before the end of the year? Uh, it's looking like it right now. It's kind of uh, it's not giving me a straight answer. It seemed like it was going to yes, but now it's like. Will the Democrats take back, back the House before the end of the year? It's given me the runaround, and that always tells me that there are still things in play, and we can work with the energy on that. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> we can work with the energy on that. Like I told you, visualize Hakeem Jeffries as Speaker of the House. Just visualize it. Because when we want something to happen, and, and the pendulum's like, well, well, I don't know, I don't know. That's it's saying. It's talking to me. I don't know about that. Not, there's not enough uh, energy going in that direction yet. We got to work. We got to work on it. If we work on it, will the Democrats take back the House before the end of the year? Uh-huh. So that's... Thank you, Bon Blue. Yeah, pretty good day. I was kind of busy, which was good. If we work on it, more Democrats running in elections winning. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I need to think of one for the, the Putin Republicans being ousted. I'll think of it. In 2024, we see justice more and more. In 2024, we see justice more and more. Aileen Cannon is on her way out. What else can I predict for you? <laughs> I've been saying that all along. She's on her way out. Jack Smith uh, has read her the right act, not just once, several times. These are my psychic impressions. <clears throat> That's why you hear, right? Um, Jack Smith has had enough. For, I mean, he's had it like he's fed up. Uh, he knows she's just playing games. Uh, Bober had a blood clot? Oh, well, that just came out of left field. Ryan wants me to do a reading on Leonard Leo. You have to ask me a specific question for me to go there. Jack Smith has been, has had her, but she's, Aileen Cannon has cornered herself. She's not playing like a judge. She's playing like a MAGA fan. She's playing like a... She's playing totally into MAGA. Um, the thing that's... The thing that's most concerning in general, the thing that's most upsetting to me, is that we have a judicial system the reason we have had a strong democracy throughout the years is because we are about justice. Liberty and justice for all, right? I don't know if the Trumpsters have uh, 
rewritten the Pledge of Allegiance, but probably. And that's based on a collective agreement that we all want to do the right thing. Ryan's asking, is Leonard Leo going to be brought to justice? Well, that's a good question. I would say because Leonard Leo is such a, a what do they call it, a, a megaloma megalomaniac or something? Leonard Leo will not be brought to justice, but he will be coerced to sit down. Um, anyway, back to the topic of justice, uh, which is the same topic. Um, our country was founded on the idea that, of course, people want freedom. Our democracy was founded on the principle of we all want what's good for one another. Yes, I did hear they rejected the $175 million bond. We'll get to that too. And, and because we've come into a time where we kind of have taken it for granted through the generations, since after World War II, the generations have not been so uh, appreciative of democracy. After we've kind of come, as, as the generations have gone, you know, away from, it's like the World War II has faded into the background. So Americans have forgotten in general that we, of course, we want everyone to be okay. Of course we want to look out for one another because we could lose it. Democracy, use it or lose it, right? So I've been thinking about that and I've been thinking about why we've slid so far in our country and gotten so divided aside from the, um, that Russia's involved in psychological warfare against the United States. We really have to come back to that we all agree that democracy is a good thing. And we all, like, you know, Democracy Smurf says we all love the Constitution. Hang on a second, I feel like I'm kind of in the dark here. So, so let's pass the word along. We want what's good for all of us. And when I see this preponderance of racism and misogyny, that we just see. I kind of wonder if it's always been there and now we're just seeing it more or if it is getting worse. You know what I mean? Like, is the misogyny and racism, is it actually getting worse or are we just seeing it more? Does that make sense? Yeah, BB Netanyahu will be removed. We'll get to that. If I forget to get to it, just remind me. Was the racism that we're seeing now, was it always there? Is it, is it, let me ask this. Has the racism in America um, increased as opposed to just more visible? All right, so I'm getting that it hasn't increased. We're just seeing it's more visible. Yeah, 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 you're right. I, I am spiritual. <laughs> yeah. It's, that's, that's what, that's what's showing up here. Is, has misogyny increased? As opposed to, there were, yeah, okay, so that's interesting. Yeah, that, yeah, that's interesting, Thomas. Um, yeah, you're, that makes me feel better. It hasn't, we don't have more racism. And we don't have more misogyny. What we have is, it's, it's more visible with the internet, with social media, with with twenty four seven news, which has been the case for you know decades now, um, and the highlight on the spotlight on all the bad, 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 bad news. We just see it's more visible, and then plus with the loser getting into office, 
And I guess now he's on the campaign trail and he's, Donald Trump is full on, um, he's promoting being like Hitler. More eyes are open. I agree. Yeah. So now let's ask this. Even though I've read on this for a long time and I keep getting the same answer, will uh, will Aileen Cannon's behavior have her, will it get her removed? Yes. Aileen Cannon's behavior will get her removed as a judge. Uh-huh. We have a water dad joke for all the storms. A friend dug a hole in the garden and he filled it with water. I think he meant well. <laughs> all right. First dad joke. We're off to a good start. Aileen Cannon will be removed. Will it take more than... I hate to do time, but will it take more than a month? Will it take more than a month for her to be removed? Not more than a month. Yeah, Trump's claims of a migrant crime wave is all lies. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. How was everybody's day? It's blowing a gale here. I, it might have died down, but it was like... And I'm getting ready to move, and where I'm moving to, it's going to be even more exposed uh, where I'm moving to. Is it true angels are seen in Israel and in Russia? I wouldn't be surprised. Okay. Yeah, there's a big storm coming up the coast, and I'm not really reassured by the forecast for the summer. Well, for hurricane season this year is pretty dire. Let's pull three cards. Cheryl said, they're getting, you're not getting 60 mile an hour sustained winds. You're getting gusts, right? Uh, let's, let's pick three cards about the Democrats. Because I have my happy witch cards out. So we're going to start with the happy Democrats. Remember the pendulum said, as long as we get to work, we get into action. And we visualize Hakeem Jeffries, the Speaker of the House, Democrats in the majority, it will happen. All right. Sorry if I miss your post. It's hard for me to read and read. It's hard for me to read and read. Democrats. How the Democrats are doing right now. I have the lover card. It's okay if you're late, Jackie. We're still here. We just started Democrats. Clear focus. Visualize Hakeem Jeffries, Speaker of the House. Visualize the Democrats all in control. Gloria is so excited for the solar eclipse. I gave you piano lessons. You said that before. <laughs> Was it in Nashville? Charles, let me know. I'm very, very curious about that. A lot of people here don't know that I, I made most of my living as a piano teacher for a lot of years. I still teach a little bit. The Democrats. Yes. People are starting to love Democrats. <laughs> Cheryl, just so you know, uh, I only check the post office box uh, about twice a week at the most. And yesterday I went and I didn't get anything from you yet, but it's coming. Oh, so Charles, my past student, is now messing with me. Uh, <laughs> we don't need to put you in time out, do we? You're Charles. The, that's, that's what it says. It says Charles. The Democrats are building. This is a really beginning to build. And this is the focus on the goal. This is very a lot of clarity for the Democrats. The distinction between the two parties couldn't be more stark. It couldn't be more stark.
It couldn't be more glaringly stark. And so when it's when it's really in everybody's face. Do you want to do you want to live like you can make your own choices and do what you do what you desire? Do you want to live like you know, you get up in the morning and you do your thing? Or do you want to live with the government telling you what you can and cannot do? The choice couldn't be clearer. And the Democrats are pulling ahead. I see it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I did see that, that the, the, uh, the Putin Republicans want to rename Washington, the Washington Dallas Airport, oh, Washington Dulles Airport after the loser. Yeah, that's important. Um, that's not going to, I'm not picking up that that's going to work. We tend to, as much as we can, and unless you think about the Civil War, we tend to name libraries and bridges and that kind of thing and airports after respectable members of our democracy. Aside from the Confederate, you know, generals, which that's, that's being dealt with. Dull is how it's pronounced. Okay, Washington Dull Airport. Is it going to be named for Trump? No. I see a lot of opposition to that. Trump is suing the Truth Social stock people. Trump wouldn't know what to do if he wasn't suing. Can you say sycophants? I know, really? It's true. <clears throat> Someone really pissed off Jack. I wouldn't want to be canon right now. She messed with the wrong prosecutor. I kind of agree with that. Let's pull some cards about Jack Smith. We haven't done that in a while. Oh, by the way, do not miss Spear Talk podcast from yesterday with our resident astrologer, Kathy Beal. Definitely. <clears throat> Hang on a second. I'm just, I'm just getting rid of my distractions. <clears throat> okay. So... I'm going to read, sorry, I got, I got sidetracked. <clears throat> yes, Kathy Bale was incredible. Uh, is there going to be a prison named after the loser? I'm going to read on, hang on, <laughs> there was something important. Let's just read on Biden. Let's read on Joe Biden. The money is coming in. Now, I keep getting repeatedly, I continually get about Joe Biden, the Biden campaign, and all that. And, and I, I predicted this, and now I'm starting to see it happen. For some weird reason... The MAGAs are going to go, I mentioned this the other night, the MAGAs are going to go full on, full in, gaslighting about January 6th. And uh, MAGA Mike is still, still going at it. He was part of the insurrection, and a, an integral part of the insurrection, yes. Thank you. I'm going to read on. <laughs> I'll get to that. I'm going to read on Jack Smith. And uh, so Maga Mike is now still saying that the January 6th videos that he promised to release, remember Maga Mike was saying that? Just disregard the fact that you can see January video of January 6th. You can just go back and watch the whole hearings, the January 6th committee hearings. What does Alexander the Great and Winnie the Pooh have in common? They both have the same middle name. <laughs> That's a bad joke. So Maga Mike is saying we're not going to release the January 6 videos until we can blur out the faces to protect the people that were there. 
You got it. Are you guys with me? You need to be with me. Because I don't know if it's just me that that makes me crazy. So, Maga Mike says that they haven't released their January 6 videos. I don't know. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's like, wait, the videos are public domain. They're, they're, everybody, thank you for, for being with me on this. So what's starting to happen is they're not following, I mean, their brains are so fried or something, maybe they're so brainwashed, that they're not following what they're saying because, is it just me? It's not just me, right? Because he's saying that they can't release the January 6 videos until they've blurred out the faces so that they can protect people. Now he backtracked on it, but I saw it again. I mean, and how do you backtrack on that? I'm reading on Joe Biden. Uh, he's the man with the money. The Biden campaign, there, there's a campaign with the money. And there's a blue wave beginning. Gloria's like, Marga Mike is a liar. Yeah, that's the understatement of the day. But still, Cannon has dug a hole for herself, that's for sure. Oh, where's Warren tonight? I just noticed we're over 200 and he hasn't bugged me about a group hug yet. Let's do a group hug. Let's do a group hug. Let's send our, our love and our energy and our healing to uh, Gaza, especially. And let's just do a group hug. All right, we have the power. We are the power. Hello from Super Dougie. Hi, Super Dougie. Welcome. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and please hit the thumbs up. Please help me. Help me to help you to go through this chaos. I'm feeling really democracy strong. I'm feeling democracy strong. You can get a reading if you go to my website, psychicannettedion.com. Thank you, Robert. Much appreciate. You can donate here, too. Yes, go to psychicannettedion.com, and it's all in the description. I'd love to have you. Yeah, Magamite cannot keep, <laughs> can't keep track of the commandments. Laws are way too, too, yeah, Magamite is in way over his head. Press to Taiwan. Yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of hard stuff going on in the world. A lot of hard stuff. That's why we stick together. That's why we come together three times a week. Minimum. You made it for the hug. Yay! And when you do the hug later, if you watch this on replay, it still is powerful. Uh, Jack Smith. I'm reading on Jack Smith. What's his status right now? Thank you for thanking Robert. That's so sweet of you guys. All right. Jack Smith. In general. Jack Smith is going after the Steelers, <laughs> not the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Steelers. This is the thief card. He's going after the thieves. It's exhausting. <laughs> the Jack Smith is he's going after the thieves. They're stealing, attempting to steal our democracy in full. Jack Smith is going after the thieves. They are, it's like, he's, he's had it. He has had it. This is like, I'm done. I'm burnt. You guys are, you know, Aileen Ken and you are exhausting. This back and forth, this back and forth, this back and forth. It's been hard. I feel as though Jack Smith is recognizing that he's lost a lot of ground because of her. Yes. Uh, let's pull three more cards, but let's do this. Let's pull... It's time for the Nefarious deck. <laughs> We're going to the Magicians, Martyrs, and Madmen from... We're using the Witch's Tarot for right now. But first... I want, I actually want a few more cards about Jack Smith because that looked like, 
it's really exhausting. I'm sure he's exhausted, but he is a triathlete, and he does have other people helping him. What do you think, Democracy Smurf? He said Jack's going to be okay. Cannon is dragging everything down. It is exhausting. It's this back and forth, rumster fatigue, but we have to keep going. Jack Smith is a, he's a triathlete. He can do this. I don't feel like he's doubting his stam stamina, but there's some very powerful forces trying to stop the, uh, the documents case try it from going to trial. A few more. It may take many years in the Hague to bring to trial. He's playing chess for sure, but this, you know, having to navigate through the legal system when he just wants to, he just wants to go to trial. He just wants to get to it. So just three more cards about that. Because those, the first three cards were more about his general energy right now. You are a Smith and a big Steelers fan too. Oh, that was kind of serendipitous. <clears throat> it's hard. It's hard. These are not easy cards. Death threats, death threats, death threats, death threats for Jack Smith. Send a lot of light. He will break through. But boy, is this a lot of red tape. A lot of bureaucracy, uh, a, a lot of um, just... Aileen, I mean, I feel like she'll get removed, but I feel a lot of dug-in energy, too. So... I feel like the trial will be kind of delayed. Um, let's ask this. It's not like it's the only one, but this is... What, what Jack Smith is up against is lawlessness in the legal system. It's not about him not being competent. It's not about anything to do with him. It's about having people that are treating the legal system, that are working in the legal system. It's like those people, like Aileen Cannon, are on a crime spree. It's like a crime spree within a cr criminal trial. Yeah, there are others, but I'm kind of feeling like the secret documents is is going to be, it just feels like it's bo bo speed bumps, ba bo bump, ba bump, ba bump, like that. It's like the Wild West, it is. Will the documents case go to trial before the summer? No. Will it go in the fall? It's looking like in the fall, and on my mind is September. Will the documents case go to trial in September? My gosh, it's vibrating. Will, will the documents trial go in, it looks like September. Now, I take my timeline predictions with a huge grain of salt because it's very hard to interpret from the guide's time. Send Jack Smith a... All right, let's send Jack Smith a big hug right now. Let's send him a hug. <laughs> All right. Understanding. There's a lot of threads to our foreign enemies um, that run right through the hub of Trump. We'll call it the hub of Trump. Uh, and it's just, it's just tough to get around, but I feel like he's going to get around it. Let's take out the nefarious cards. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting September. Yeah, I'm getting September. At least it's going. Whenever you get, oh, thank you, Barbara. Whenever you get, um... These, these enemy countries, whenever, whenever we get into this quagmire of these enemy countries, 
it's kind of like you have to be able to see with x-ray vision. This is kind of what Jack Smith is going through. But I think he, I think he does see with x-ray vision. What's Maria talking about? Never been able to copy folks' names. <laughs> um, there's a lot. I, I mean, I see these like underground tunnels. I don't think that's literal, even though that's going on in the Middle East. That's how Hamas, you know, did all of what they're doing. I can't even think about it. But I see a lot of underground channels that Jack Smith is having to navigate. Uh, there's a sense of not knowing who he's talking to. He has so much experience. He is the man for the job. There's a sense of he's not sure who's... It's, it's almost like Aileen Cannon is a mouthpiece. And it's not just Trump that's speaking through her. So I'm going to read on, I'm going to read on, um, I mean, there's a lot of death threats for Jack Smith, obviously. We know that. That's factual. But what I'm seeing that's most challenging, I mean, he does have protection. What I'm seeing that's most challenging is figuring out exactly the source of the misinformation. Than the source of the crimes, because they're it's it's multi-layered. So I'm reading on Aileen Cannon, and I got four cards instead of three for some reason. Cannon's husband is a connected guy to the oh to the mob. Is it, I didn't know that. That's okay. That explains what I'm picking up on. That explains what I'm picking up on because it's almost like Jack Smith is having you know he needs to make a plan for the trial. And then on I, Aileen Cannon's, she's a mouthpiece. And there's, there's these people behind her that are telling her what to do and what to say. And they have their own plan, too. It's gross. I'm reading on Aileen Cannon, and for some reason the cards wanted to deliver four cards instead of three. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how they can uh, logjam Jack Smith. And the death card is here. The five of pentacles is here. Yeah, they're kind of trying to... How could I describe this? Starve him of information. That's the best way I can describe it. It's very complicated. The page of wands. All right, so I want to remind you that back several months ago, switching to a different trial... When I was reading on Fonnie Willis several months ago, I said she's going to get her trial, but she's going to have to give up some things that she doesn't want to give up. And that's what happened. There was a quite a delay. And as far as Jack Smith goes, I see they're really trying to jam up the works. They're trying to jam up the machine. But uh, that's a rumor about Cannon's husband, unfortunately not true. He works for a big-time chef. Well, I'm, I'm picking up something that's similar to what that, whoever said that, about the mob. I'm picking up mob energy. I am picking up mob energy, so it's, apparently it's not connected to her husband, but I, I am picking up mob energy behind her. Maybe it doesn't take a psychic, but that's what I'm picking up. As far as Aileen Cannon, the, well, the death card came up, so she's done. She's done. I guess that's all we really need to know. And you guys are having a discussion about Aileen Cannon's husband being connected to the mob, and I'm getting, yes, he is, no, he isn't. So I'm not sure what to think. She's Colombian. I thought Trump hated immigrants. I'm just, ah, so many walking contradictions. Well, I have the death card. He, he's, he, she's done. 
You view this Federalist Society as a mob? Yeah, there's definitely, that is, I'm trying to figure it out. I mean, because it, there's definitely, it's definitely there. I, I don't not see that. Is it the Federalist Society? No. They own restaurants to control their environment? So, are we asking if it's connected in any way to Cuba? No. All right. Did, was Maria putting up the patron saying for Ukraine? Cannon's father is related to the mob. He's from Colombia. All right. Let's move on. Let's pull three cards about the Trump campaign. Thomas is light in the dad jokes tonight. <laughs> in, the, in the absence of a ton of dad jokes, I'm like, wow, they really do lift the energy. No pressure. Russia, after all, it's Florida. Uh, I've always seen Russian connections in Florida. I've always, with DeSantis especially. Let's just, let's pull three cards on the losers campaign. Please hit the thumbs up. Help me out. I'm here three nights a week to help us go through the news, basically for free. I got a pittance from ads, but that's about it. Dad joke. We know you know. Orion's belt, big waste of space, huh? Didn't like that joke. That's okay. It's only got three stars. <laughs> Did you notice, Thomas, how the energy just kind of went? We needed a we needed a joke. The loser, six of swords. Yeah, yeah. So earlier I was saying, and you know me, I stopped saying what I was saying because I get distracted. Um, the Trump camp is going to be putting January 6th in all of our faces, <laughs> which is the irony of this is like, they're gonna be putting all this stuff about January 6th in everybody's face, the MAGAs, and he's gonna campaign on, he's gonna campaign on the January 6th insurrectionists are American heroes, I kid you not. They arrested two Russians in one of 45's properties. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's all that our enemies are all. They have their fingers in our country. And the Biden campaign is going to be highlighting January 6th to say, this really happened. So it's going to be, are you going to believe the gaslighting? Or are you going to believe what you saw right in front of your eyes? And I just want to take an opportunity right now to say I'm so grateful that I have a song about January 6th because, the, and I'm going to get it out soon, as soon as it's done. Got to add a few more tracks. Because it's, it paints a picture of that day. Trump is banking on getting his supporters to tell everyone that it never happened, that the insurrection never happened, and he will get roasted for that. Not jokingly roasted, seriously roasted. This is the same or similar to the, the nationwide abortion ban that they're promising to put into place. They're giving us what we, they're, it's like, here, reject this. <laughs> and the Queen of Wands, I feel like Liz Cheney is going to really come out swinging to get him removed from the ballot. And Liz Cheney is kind of fearless. You know, we all have some fear. We have self-protection fear, but. And Kathy Beale and I were talking about him, and he's he's not doing well health-wise. Breakfast dad joke. 
Dad, at breakfast, I'll have bacon and eggs, please, waiter. How do you like your eggs? Dad, I don't know. I haven't gotten them yet. <laughs> but I'm bum. Liz has big breasts. Yeah, I, I don't I I think that Liz Cheney is making a plan to take the loser down. You remember Chinese coming in through Vancouver? Oh yeah, we're we're infiltrated by spies and, and, and lies. Spies and lies. All right, let's look at Maga Mike. Anyway, Kathy Beal and I have been talking about the, the mental decline of the loser. Yeah, Liz Cheney said she would not let Trump get into the White House, and she's not joking. And I think she's a Taurus. Pretty sure. Yeah, she's got the... Oh, and she's a Leo... She's a Leo, so she's feisty, and she, Leo is a fixed sign. Jim Jordan has been very quiet. We're going to Maga Mike. Yeah, so so Kathy Beale and I were talking about Trump's mental decline, and I think that it's a sign of mental decline. For him to be out there thinking that calling immigrants vermin and you know whatever else he, it's just it's 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 just he married immigrants uh okay maga mike ten of swords in over his head, not doing well, and here, hear ye, hear ye, we have the Liz Cheney card again. He is so embarrassing, and somebody I was watching on YouTube mentioned in passing his, Mike, Mike's trademark thing is the condescending smirk, and shaking his head like, you poor little person. Oh, poor you. This is a Maga, that's a Maga Mike thing. That's really appealing, right? That's really appealing. He sat behind Joe Biden for the entire uh, State of the Union, and, and he was just, like, smirking, and, and just like, oh, oh, you poor non-fascist people. The Ten of Swords indicates that he's in deep. He's in deep trouble. He's in deep trouble. I feel like Liz Cheney is going to uh, really, uh, she's going to make hay. <laughs> because this is a six of, of the seven of pentacles. She's going to, yeah. Yeah, he, the, actually, I, th I was reading this wrong. I thought it was wands. It's, it's the seven of pentacles. This is Maga Mike coming to the end of the row he hoed. And it's the end. She cannot stand him. She can Liz Cheney cannot stand Jim Jordan either. Now I haven't heard much about what they've been up to since they came back from their Easter break. If they're back. Let's look at how the losers um so apparently Donald Trump wrote the Bible, and I, I know, I know it's shocking to you, and it I know it's it's shocking news to you that Donald Trump wrote the Bible. You know, that book that's been around for a couple thousands of years. Um, so he signed it, so that means that he wrote it. Oh, they're back next week. They're not, okay. They're, ba they're back on the solar eclipse day. That ought to be <laughs> unforgettable. You bet they want Jim Jordan to be speaker. They already tried that. There was something in Midas Touch today about what? Yeah, uh, somebody's mentioning we need to pay, pray for Ukraine. We definitely do. All right. Marjorie Trader Green. About Maga Mike. Okay, I'll check. I'll look at the Midas Touch video about Maga Mike. Thank you. All right, Marjorie Trader Green, who's trying to oust him. It's a 
a big mess. This uh, Congress has gotten... The Republicans have done nothing for this country. Nothing. Think about it. What have the Republicans done for America? Let's think about it. Oh, that didn't take long. Dad joke, at the park with my girls. Dad, can we go play? Me, sure, just stay away from those trees over there. Girls, um, okay, why? Me, I don't know, they look a little shady. <laughs> it does help. The jokes help. Marjorie Tree the Green, out in the cold, because America is getting stronger. Marge out in the cold because America's getting stronger. And there's the King of Pentacles, which tonight is indicating Jack Smith. So there you go. There you go. I'm now going to read on how the Bible sales are going. If MAGA Mike brings the bill to the floor about uh, na uh, national security, which includes Ukraine aid, she'll vote to bring him down. Yeah, that's what she's saying, because she, she's a dumb girl with a, too big of a megaphone. She wants the speaker's seat so badly. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's ask a couple of questions. Let's ask a couple of questions. Super Dougie saying the right wing believes the lies that Trump actually did something. I know. He did nothing. He just destroyed this country. They always say energy independence. It's really frightening that these people can't think for themselves. Oh, is Kathy in? Is Kathy here? Hi, Kathy. Book a, book a, an astrology reading with Kathy Beal, especially now with the eclipse coming up. We need for her to get two... Hello! We need for Kathy Beal, she's here, professional Aquarian. She needs to get two astrology readings in order for us to do our next show. We have a new rule. Is Marjorie Trader Green uh, going to oust Maga Mike? Is that going to happen? It doesn't look like it. Do you get it? <laughs> you mean Jinsu knives? Do you get a set of knives with the uh, with the Bible that Trump wrote? Not sure about that. <clears throat> Is Maga Mike going to bring the uh, the vote for Ukraine aid to the floor? It looks like yes. But wait, there's more. <laughs> you have something to tell us? I'm getting a really strong yes that MAGA Mike is going to bring the national security bill to the floor. The votes are there to help Ukraine. I've always seen Ukraine getting the help, but I did see them losing before that happened. Losing ground. I don't mean losing entirely. No, it's a Aronco commercial for the Bible, is it? I don't see, um, I don't see Marjorie Trader Green succeeding in ousting Maga Mike. But wait, there's more. Oh, that's, <laughs> I get it. I was a little slow on the uptake there, Kathy. But wait, there's more. I thought you were talking about the reading because there's always more. Um, as far as I, I noticed that some of you are uh, putting up the, um, the news about, you know, we were, we were on Monday night when we got the news about the, the aid workers for the world, uh, world kitchen. Um, it's tragic. And I actually, uh, world food kitchen. I actually don't think that it was deliberate. Yes, they really did reject Trump's bond of 175,000. I mean, million. <laughs> Sorry, I, I can't, my mind doesn't go further than thousands. Um, and I just want to remind you of past predictions. I've always seen Netanyahu under arrest. 
even way before October 7th last year. Uh, we should read on, on Trump needing to provide a, a financial statement. We'll do that. But I want to pull three cards. First, about April 15th. Your millennial relatives in Tel Aviv want BB out. He'll be out. I And today I had a vision of the people, the Israeli people, um, going up to the, his door, wherever he lives, and bashing it down. So, I don't know if that was symbolic or if that's, that's literal. Oh, Warren, you've been here? How did I miss you? So... I'm actually, I'm going to read on that. I'm going to read on Netanyahu. And then we'll read some tea leaves. <clears throat> What's his fate? Yeah, we missed you, Warren. <laughs> I just want you to know that we, we all notice when you're not here. The regulars, we totally notice when you're not here. You are missed. Come more often to everyone else, so, so, uh... So you get missed too when you're not here. Makes you feel special, I think. Netanyahu. Doesn't look good. He thinks. Netanyahu, I, I get the sense that he thinks that like Iran has his back or Putin has his back or he, he he feels like somebody, some, some nefarious uh, Leader, leaders have his back. He thinks that. But then I have these two cards that both depict some figures in history. I'm still needing to read up on all these characters. This is Netanyahu. Now that doesn't look like freedom to me, but he does think that his, his allies that are uh, very bad players... He thinks he's some. Oh, he thinks he has Iran. That's what I'm getting. He thinks that Iran has his back, and Russia. That's what he thinks. Oh, okay. So Maria's thinking that there's a a higher reason that uh, those aid workers got killed. It's so so devastating. I mean, because those people that came in. To help feed the people of, of Gaza, you know, that risk their lives. Those, that's a, that's a level of involvement ev of a soul. Like, like to come in and to, to actually be that selfless. That's a, that's a, that's a special kind of human being. So they're, they're definitely angels in heaven. <clears throat> so tragic. The war, the, these wars have to end. This is, you know, enough already. <clears throat> All right, uh, let's do this. It seems like there was another question. Oh, let's ask about April 15th. I did promise that. Let's, let's read about. Yes, I get that the Netanyahu thinks that Russia and, and Iran are his friends. He thinks that. And I did get, a while back, I told you that I felt like I got this really strong message that he knew about October 7th. He might not have known that it was going to be that awful. <clears throat> yeah, Iran isn't happy for Israel for bombing uh, in, in Syria, the consulate in Syria. Okay, three cards about April 15th um, for Trump, the energy of that. I'm going to try not to stay too long because, you know, my numbers go down when it's too long. Please share my videos. Please subscribe. Uh, yeah, oh, do you think it's that intense? Catherine is, is saying, Catherine Lopez is saying, BB knew about October 7th like Trump knew about January 6th. I'm not getting that it's the same because Trump was very, very, very involved I mean, you might have that impression. I don't get that it was the same. I just get that Netanyahu... 
I think it did take him by surprise how how awful it was. I, I don't think he thought it was going to be that intense. It's all bad. It's all bad. Um, on April 15th, oh yeah, Trump will be hung out to dry on April 15th. And the case is very, very strong against Trump. And the magician is how much he's going to try to spin it to be the opposite of what it is. Well, that's what he does anyway. That's what Trump does anyway. Spin, 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 spin. Let's read some tea leaves. Yes, it will be on tax day that he's in court. All right, I'm going to read some tea leaves. I'm going to read some tea leaves. Uh, and I'm going to say before I read these tea leaves and after, please book a reading, psychicanetdion.com. I'm also a spiritual life coach. Do not let all this talent go to waste when you could be using it. Tea! <laughs> yes, tea. I see a kangaroo. I see a frog, and I see a lightning bolt, and they're all around Venus, <laughs> and I see, what's a bird with long legs that flies, long skinny legs that flies? Okay, a kangaroo, a frog, I think it's a frog, and a lightning bolt. <laughs> A crane. Okay. All right. So here, here we are. Do you see what I see? <laughs> Back in Christmas. It feels like Christmas around here. Um, kangaroo. It's really hard to show you. There's a kangaroo there. Oh, and I just killed it. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay. So you're saying a crane, there's a crane, there's a frog, there's a kangaroo, and there's a lightning bolt. Bear with me. All around Venus. So, lightning bolt. Well, that's probably a good thing. For, to be on, a lightning bolt on Venus. I was going to read on, on a couple other things tonight, but we just kind of ran out of time. An exciting yet unsettling sign means inspiration, intuition, and startling insights. I feel like that has to do with these MAGA misogynists taking away women's rights and how bad it's getting, like in Florida right now, where they've just put in a full-on six-week abortion ban, but then it's going to be on the ballot, too. So, thank you for your endorsements. You see the deceased kangaroo? You can, how can you tell they're deceased? It's tea leaves. I don't understand. <laughs> it looks like um, this has to do with a lot of movement around women's rights, getting our rights back. Kangaroos are fond of fighting, so this creature can simply suggest a rival or argumentative friend. There's going to be a lot of arguing around this abortion ban thing. Boston Marathon coming up. Are you running it, Cheryl? I always thought maybe someday I'd run the marathon, and then I just went, it's too much work. <laughs> it's, it's too hard. A crane. Uh, okay, so we're going to look up birds. Hang on, don't leave yet. I have to just read this thingamajiggy. Birds with long legs. We're going to go with just a bird. Uh, news and messages, standing or perching. A flying bird means good news. Okay. Means good news. Maria's still here. All right. It's looking like we're going to see a lot of, this is kind of pointing to a lot of movement around the women's issues that's all going in a positive direction. We will get women's rights back. The people aren't going to stand for it anymore. And then we have under the snake, 
an upside down heart. The most you ever ran was 10 miles. I ran many 10Ks too, many 5Ks. I've won some awards too. Let's see. I used to love to race. Oh my gosh. So fun. Thank you for your support. A heart. I want to see if the an, a heart upside down has significance here. It's definitely upside down. So I would say he's the he's the uh, yeah, it's upside down though. And so the snake, that's Trump and an upside down heart. He's just like absent. Ab no heart. Absent of love. Absence of love. If I ever see Rose running, be sure something's chasing you. Is that a dad joke? Dancing Warrior ran 10 feet one time. I think that's it for tonight. Um, except I have to tell you to join Grassroots of Democracy. Jack Smith is putting his feet down on Cannon. Yeah, don't worry. It's going to be okay. Um, I do spiritual life coaching. I do... Re, uh, tarot readings and I do tea leaf readings too among other things psychic and at Dion.com um, to donate you can donate the, it's in the description church of spirituality I reached my quota so I'm going to be having my church on the channel that's called at you just type in at on YouTube at church of spirituality so that's on Sunday hit the thumbs up please subscribe Grassroots of Democracy, we meet tomorrow night for our discussion group. We meet three times a week. Uh, we have one more short dad joke. What do you call an illegally parked frog? What? Toad. An illegally parked frog. Toad. Oh. <laughs> I, I did a lot of readings today. I'm, my brain is uh, on overload. And, and I think that's it for now. So, uh... I'll see you soon, and be well, and join Grassroots Democracy, grassrootsdemocracy.com. Check out our show from yesterday. Okay, namaste. I love you all. I'm sending tons of love. Good night. See you.